In this problem, we will do three normal probability calculations. They all involve the following scenario. The scores of a reference population on the Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children are normally distributed with mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. We want to know what is the probability that an individual score will be greater than 105. The first thing we should do is label our normal distribution curve. We know the WISC scores are normally distributed with mean 100 and standard deviation 15. We label the curve with the mean, one standard deviation, two standard deviation, and three standard deviations above the mean, and one standard deviation, two standard deviation, and three standard deviations below the mean. Now we should shade the area under the curve that our probability represents. We want to know the probability that the WISC score is greater than 105. The shaded region in our curve represents that probability. Anytime that you're asked to find a probability, you should write a probability statement. We are looking for the probability that a WISC score is greater than 105. Our WISC, WISC scores are normally distributed with mean 100, standard deviation 15. We do not have a normal distribution table for that distribution. So in order to find this probability using a normal distribution table, we must first convert our WISC scores, our normal distribution, to a standard normal distribution, a Z random variable, which is normally distributed with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. How do we standardize a normal random variable? We need to sub subtract the random, the random variable's mean and divide by its standard deviation. Subtracting the mean and standard deviation of a normal random variable converts that random variable to the standard normal random variable. And we are now looking for the probability that z is greater than 0.33. So we have that the probability that a WISC score is greater than 105 is equivalent to, or the same as the probability that a standard normal random variable is greater than 0.33. Now that our probability statement is in, is in terms of the standard normal random variable, we can use the standard normal table to find this probability. We want to find the area to the right of a Z score of 0.33. But if we look up 0.33 in the table, this table gives you the area to the left of 0.33. So how do we convert this to a probability statement using a z-score of 0.33 where we're looking up the area to the left of 0.33? Probability that z is greater than 0.33 is the same as 1 minus the probability that z is less than 0.33. Why is that? because the probability of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of its complement. This probability can be found in the table. We go to a z-score of 0.33. We find the area to the left of 0.33 is 0.6293. So we have 1 minus 0.6293 or a little more than 37% for our probability. And we have that the probability that an individual's WISC score will be greater than 105 when the distribution of scores is normally distributed with mean 100, standard deviation 15, is equal to a little more than 37%. Now let's find the probability that an individual score will be less than 92. Let's shade the region on our normal curve represented by our probability. The area to the left of 92 under our normal curve represents the probability that we are trying to calculate. What is the probability statement? It's the probability that our WISC score will be less than 92. We need to standardize this random variable in order to use the standard normal table. Standardizing the random variable by subtracting its mean and standard deviation, we see that the probability of a WISC score being less than 92 is the same as the probability that a standard normal random variable is less than negative 0.53.
We can now go to our standard normal table to find this probability. Looking for a z-score of negative 0.53 in our table, we see that we do not have any negative z-scores listed in our table. But we can use the symmetry property of the normal distribution to find this probability. Because the normal distribution is symmetric, we know that the probability that it, a random variable is less than 0.53 is the same as the probability that the random variable is greater than 0.53. We are once again trying to find the area to the right of a z-score. The table gives us the area to the left of the z-score, so we must find 1 minus the probability of the complement, 1 minus the probability that z is less than or equal to 0 0.53. And we can find this probability in the table, so let's do that. The probability that z is less than 0.53 we look up 0.53 in our table, and we find that the area to the left of 0.53 is 0 0.7019. And we have that the probability that z is less than negative 0.53 is equal to 0.2981. And the probability that an individual's WISC score will be less than 92 when the distribution of scores is normally distributed with mean 100, standard deviation 15, is approximately 30%. The last probability calculation we will do is, what is the probability that an individual score will be between 92 and 105? That region has already shaded on our normal curve. The probability is represented by the shaded region of our curve, the area under that curve in the shaded region, and we've written the probability statement. We want to know the probability that a WISC score is between 92 and 105. To find this probability, one way to do the problem is to say that this is equivalent to the probability that the WISC score is less than 105, so that will be the shaded region all the way to the left of 105, which includes this region right here. And then if we subtract from that probability, the probability that the WISC score is less than 92. So we first have this area under the curve, and then we subtract out the area to the left of 92. What we are left with will then be the region that is shaded. In our original probability calculation, we calculated the probability that the WISC score is greater than 105. So we can use that fact to help us. The probability that the WISC score is less than 105 is the same as 1 minus the probability that the WISC score is greater than 105. Again, the probability of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of its complement. And we still have minus the probability that the WISC score is less than 92, which we calculated in our second calculation. Filling in the probabilities, we have 1 minus 0 0.3707 from our first calculation, minus 0 0.2981 from our second calculation. And we have that this probability equals 0 0.3312. We have that the probability that an individual's WISC score will be, be, will be between 92 and 105 is approximately 33%. Our three normal probability calculations are now complete.